You got a delicious ground beef filling in a crispy wonton wrapper, and then a sweet and sour dipping sauce that really complements it well. I'm gonna preheat my pan to a medium high heat and add a little bit of canola oil. Now that the pan's hot, I'll add the ground beef. So I'm allowing this to get a deep brown on it because I really want to develop the flavor of the ground beef. I want to chop it up finely because eventually we'll be putting it into an egg roll wrapper and rolling it up. And if it's really chunky, it's a little harder to roll into these cigar shapes. So now we'll season with a little salt, some pepper. We'll go in with some yellow onion and about two cloves worth of garlic. I'm leaving all that fat in the pan because I want to use that to help saute all these vegetables that I'm adding. I like using 80-20 and I don't want to drain it because we've got more things adding to it. And if you don't have a little bit of that fat in the pan, they won't saute properly. This will cook for an additional two minutes. Next, we'll be adding in the slaw mix and soy sauce. The reason I really like using slaw mix for this is because it has two ingredients that I'd be putting in anyways, which are cabbage and carrots, but it saves me the trouble of cutting them all up. And be aware, this is undressed coleslaw mix, not coleslaw. So it is just shredded cabbage and carrots. This is done cooking now. The cabbage has wilted a little bit. We've got a little bit of cook on the onions and the carrots, and that's all we're looking for here. We just want everything nice and pliable so that when we put it in that wrapper, it's easy to manage. I wanna let this cool down because it's gonna go into an egg roll wrapper and we want it to cool down so it's cool enough to handle. It doesn't have to be cold. It doesn't have to be quite room temp. You just wanna make it manageable to handle and not too hot because it'll make the egg roll wrapper sticky. While that cools, we'll go on to make the dipping sauce for the stogies. It's really simple. We take two teaspoons of cornstarch and add it to our remaining two teaspoons of soy sauce. I'm using this as the base for my slurry, which is the thickening agent in the sauce. So now to our saucepan, we will add a half cup of water, white vinegar, sugar, and sambal. Sambal is a fermented chili paste that is one of my favorite things to use for a little bit of spice and a ton of flavor. Stir this while we bring it to a quick boil. We want to make sure the sugar fully dissolves and everything's kind of incorporated. It's always important to remember when you're making a cornstarch slurry, you want to use water or in this case I use soy sauce that's no warmer than room temperature. Cold is also good. You don't want it to be warm or else it clumps. That's come to a rolling boil. Give this one more quick stir to make sure all the cornstarch is off the bottom. We'll add that in. Again, whisk it, let it boil, and cornstarch works really fast. So it only takes about 30 seconds and the sauce is done. All right, it's good to go. We'll remove that from the heat. We'll let that cool a little bit while we make our beef stogies. Now that the filling is cooled down enough to work with, I'll start assembling the stogies. What I have here are just some egg roll wrappers that I bought at the grocery store. I'll take a, about a quarter cup of the filling, I'll put it on one side of the egg roll wrapper, and then on the opposite side, I'll brush with just a little bit of water. That'll act as my glue. Then I'll just take it, roll it, and here's the important step. You want to kind of pull back to get these tight. And I'll even do it a couple times just to ensure that I get a nice, even cylinder. It's okay if a little bit of the filling sneaks out. It'll still be on the inside. And then just start rolling. You just want to keep it nice and tight then roll right across that watered edge. Maybe push in from the sides if any of the filling starts to come out and then put them on your baking sheet. And now I'll just repeat that until I've used up all the filling. Now that these are all assembled, I'll just take some butter and lightly brush the tops of each one. These will help them to become very crisp and delicious. So now I'll put these into a preheated 425 degree oven for 10 minutes. After that, I'll rotate the pan 180 degrees and put them in for another five or until they're golden brown and delicious. I should get these on the platter here. And then you see we've got our dipping sauce all ready to go, which is nice and sweet and spicy. Remember to like and comment below on what you thought about these recipes, and we'll see you next time in the test kitchen.